Hello, hi everyone. Today we're going to look into the formula of ionic compounds. But first of all, what is ionic compound? Ionic compounds are solid at room temperature, a bond formed between two atoms where an electron is transferred from one atom to the other is called an ionic bond. Ionic compounds are made up of atom joined together by ionic bonds. They usually, but not always, contain at least one metal element and one non-metal element. So the metal element will lose the electron and producing a positively charged ion whereby the non-metal will gain the electron to produce a negatively charged ion. So since they have different uh, charges, they have a positive charge, so they will create an electrostatic force between one another and create a bond or what we call as ionic bond. So in order to write the formula of ionic bond, we can predict by using the formula of its ion. So the overall structure must be neutral. The numbers of ions in a formula must be given an equal number of positive and negative charges. So knowing the right valency for the ion will help to write the correct formula for the ionic compound. Okay, here you can see the formula of the positively charged ion. So these are all the formula for the positively charged ion. So you don't need to memorize all this, but you need to do is that the charge of the particular uh, given element is depends on the group of the periodic table. So potassium comes from group 1, therefore the charge is 1 plus. And all metal, they are positively charged because they have high tendency to give out electron sodium also one plus because sodium from group one and you can see calcium is two plus because calcium comes from group two and magnesium also comes from group two so one different uh, element you can see here is ammonium ammonium is a polyatomic ion whereby it consists of two different atoms bonded together with a charge so this is the positively charged ammonium uh, positively charged polyatomic ions with four with the two different atoms bonded together. So for the non-metal, we also have, so for the non-metal, these are the example of the polyatomic ions for the non-metal, for the negative ions. So these all polyatomic ion formula, you have to memorize in order to deduce the uh, chemical formula of a compound. So without memorizing this, of polyatomic ions, it will be difficult for you to deduce the chemical formula of a given compound. So now let's look at one of the examples. So here I have questions regarding writing the ionic compound formula. So you have here copper 2 chloride. So in order to write the chemical formula for copper 2 chloride, you need to know the ionic formula of that particular element. So what is the ionic formula for copper 2? Copper 2 is a transition metal, so the bracket tells you the number of uh, positively charged copper have. So copper will have Cu2 plus, okay, and then chloride. The formula for chloride is Cl negative. So what you need to do next is to do the crossover by taking the number of charge and bring it to the bottom of chlorine and one charge of chlorine will bring to the bottom of copper. So the number of charge will be the number of the subscript of each of the element. Therefore, the formula of copper to chloride will be CuCl2. Okay. Let's try the second question, beryllium. Beryllium comes from group 2. You can check in the periodic table. So beryllium is B. Okay, BE, beryllium, with 2 plus charge, since it comes from group 2, oxide, the charge is 2 negative. You do the crossover by bringing the number to the bottom of each element. Therefore, you get BE2O2. And you can see both subscript here having the same number. Therefore, you can simplify further by cancelling off the 2. And you get, this is the simplest formula for beryllium oxide. Let's move to question number three, sodium sulfate. 
So the formula for sodium ion is Na+, plus, since it comes from group 1. And sulfate is a polyatomic ion with a formula of SO4, 2 negative. So you have to bring the number to the bottom of each uh, ion. So 2 will bring to sodium 1 to the whole SO4. Therefore, the formula will be Na2, SO4. So this is the formula for sodium sulfate. Okay, I think uh, this will be uh, sufficient for you to understand on how to write the ionic compound formula. I hope this will give you much help. Thank you for watching.